Good afternoon. I'm Warren Cario, and I'm honored to be reading this citation today. The highest distinction the Senate of, the universe, of a university can confirm upon an individual is an honorary doctorate. At the University of Manitoba, the criteria include distinguished achievement in scholarship, the arts, or public service. Our honorary graduate today is Dr. Katerina Vermet. A decorated Métis novelist, poet, filmmaker, and author, Katharina Vermet is one of the most important and recognized writers in Canada today. Known for the generosity, care, and engagement with which she approaches her work, Vermette's prolific literary contributions have brought the challenges of Indigenous peoples into the global consciousness. Her first poetry collection, North End Love Songs, was inspired by her childhood in Winnipeg's vibrant, multifaceted North End and explored contemporary resonances of place, family, and Métis history. It received the prestigious Governor General's Award for Poetry. Building on the themes of her previous writing and her work as a former kindergarten teacher, Vermette has published several children's and young adult books. The Seven Teachings stories explore Anishinaabek teachings of the Seven Grandfathers in a way that is easy for young people to absorb, while the A Girl Called Echo series helps bridge the gap between Métis history, especially that of Métis women, and the cultural and personal preoccupations of contemporary Indigenous youth. Vermette's 2016 novel, The Break, examined the colonial power and lateral violence that shapes Winnipeg's inner city neighborhoods. It became a Canadian bestseller, received the Amazon.ca First Novel Award, and is widely taught in universities around the world, making it the subject of numerous articles and dissertation chapters. Her second novel, The Strangers, was released in 2021 and won the Atwood Gibson Writers' Trust Fiction Prize. Ms. Chancellor, it is an honor for me to ask, on behalf of the Senate of the University of Manitoba, that you confer upon Dr. Katerina Vermet the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of this university, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. I would now ask Dr. Katharina Vermette to please address convocation. Hi, doctor. I like that. <laughs> I want to thank my friends who knew somehow that I wanted to do all of this without, get, get all of this without having to do anything. Um, that's great. I do not get to be a real doctor. I congratulate all the PhD students on that achievement. I congratulate all the, all the graduates on their achievement, and thank you for sharing your day with me. Um, I was told to say something inspirational or maybe motivational, and coming here, I feel moved by this ceremony that was like, I didn't get married in this much ceremony, so this is a lot. Um, but I can think of nothing more inspirational or motivational than seeing all your faces out there seeing all the accomplishments, seeing the bibbies in the audience. I remember my graduation day and I, and I'm not the most comfortable person in these kind of environments, so I wanted it to just be over with as soon as possible. But I really do hope I got some good advice today and I hope you take it, I'll pass it on. Really enjoy this day. Enjoy the accomplishments that you've achieved. Enjoy this piece of paper that no one can take away from you. And it's something you can have for forever, for the betterment of your communities and your families and yourselves. 
Um, I, when I thought of what I wanted to say, I really wanted to say the, the thing, maybe it's a piece of advice, what I lived by, and it's a really old teaching. And that teaching is something like, and I'm paraphrasing in the way I do, but that teaching is we are only here to honor those who came before us and to make a place for those who come after us. That's it. That's the good news and bad news that we get to do. And that honoring can take many forms, whether it's respect or, you know, love. But those who came before us fought to get you here in some ways, in very literal ways. They fought and with their lives for you to be here. And that is to be honored. But we don't get to walk through these doors and leave it swinging closed behind us. Our job is to keep it open so that those coming behind us can also know the way. So that those of us who are the firsts, you know, first in your family, first in your generation, you know, you're, you hold the door behind you so that the rest can come back. So all these babies that are being really well behaved, my kids would never act this well good in this environment, um, they can see where they're going and you can show them the way. And that's it. That's the only place we're here, the only reason we're here for. I do think that one of the best ways we can honor our ancestors and make way f and teach our children is to be happy. And not in that hedonistic, gotta get all the material things happy, but just like genuinely healthy and assured with ourselves. And that means surrounding ourselves with people we love, doing work that we love, and then showing the way. Because what better thing do we want for our kids or those who come after us than for them to know how to be happy? And I can, from what I know of our ancestors, that's all they wanted for us. So I wish you well, and I thank everyone. Marcy, Chimigwech. Damn, it's emotional day. Okay. <laughs>